In this video, I am going to demonstrate get bounds in box, which is the replacement of region three. So I made these little boxes you can just barely see. If you go in, we're going to change the name of the zone and then you're going to hear the music client side. So we're in the industrial zone. And now we're in the club. And then we'll go to nature. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I got a fresh world right here. I'm gonna get some sound so that when I go into my region, I know I'm there, right? That way we can tell. Let's go to our toolbox, go to models, switch it over to audio, and then I'll do three just like in the demo. We'll do nature. And we got nature sounds, birds chirping and stuff. There we go. Let's get one for industrial. And oil refinery. Fine sound right there. Insert. Oh, I put it on my nature. There we go. I just drug it into work workspace. And then we'll get one for like music. Like a nightclub. Do like trap music. Wild trap music. Yep. Let's go ahead and insert that. Boom. Oh, I put it on oil refinery. That's all right. Workspace. Cool. Now let's go ahead and Group these, right click, and group as folder. You can do model too, it'll be fine. I'm gonna write, I'm gonna change the name of this as sounds. Cool, and then I'm gonna change these names too to make them a little simpler. And instead of nature sounds and forest, just nature. And then this one, I'll say industrial, industrial. And then this one will just be uh, music. Uh, let's say the club, right? That's what we did in the demo, the club. Cool. Now we need to define some regions. Let's go ahead and get our toolbox and close it. And I'm going to use a part for our regions. You could just use the number, but this is a little easier. Let's go ahead and expand that out. Hit the scale, stretch it out as big as you want. Well, we want red and then green. Cool. That's going to be our nature. So nature, go ahead and give it a nature color just so we know which one's which when we're doing our, our troubleshooting because we're going to make it invisible when we get our game ready. Let's go to our transparency and make it slightly visible so we could do troubleshooting and stuff when we know we're in our region or not. It'll make it easier. All right, now let's turn can collide off so we can run inside. And we're going to turn anchored on so it doesn't fall through the ground. And then make sure collisions are off. Control D to duplicate. Let's go ahead and pull this one out. This is going to be our second region. This is going to be industrial. Industrial. We're going to make that like a gray. Like I said, this is only for troubleshooting. Ah, that's fine. That, that's good enough gray enough and then we'll do another one control d we'll make this one the club the club so these are these region these regions are named the same as the sound and i did that to make the coding a little bit easier oh let's change the color to uh the club let's make it like like a bright color because it's going to be a club right all right, now let's go ahead and get those three regions. Can, uh, shift, click, selects all of them, right click, and I'll group them as a folder. And then let's call that folder regions. Now let's make a little text label to let us know what region we're in. We'll go down to starter GUI, hit the plus, hit a screen GUI, Hit the plus, and then we'll do a text label. All righty, let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. And line it up. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. And we'll call this region label. Region LBL. Let's go ahead and make that transparent. And we'll come down here some more. I'm going to change the font. Make a bangers. I'll go ahead and just give it some, just give it a, some dummy text here. We're gonna change it, but maybe we'll call this 
zoneless when we're not in a zone, right? And then change the color, of course, make it some color you like. I don't know what I have in the video. I think it's like a yellow. Might've been something else. We gotta make a bigger text scale. We need to put a little bit of an outline on it so we can see it better. Stroke trans, text stroke transparency, zero. There, it's got a little outline. Nice. Now let's get our sounds. I'm gonna pull it down here. I'm gonna put it in the screen GUI. I'm actually gonna put a local script here. Let's do local script. And I'm gonna call this sound script. Sound script. And then let's put our sounds on the sound script. Keep it all together. Make sure your sound script is selected. Go ahead and remove that print statement. There we go. And we want to get the regions from our workspace. We can do that even though we're client. We'll just do local. I'm going to call them sound zones for the purpose of this script. Whoops, with an S. We'll do game.workspace. Let's do a wait for child. Wait for child. What do we call that? Regions. We did call it regions. And then we're going to do a get children get children. We want to get the regions inside the regions folder. And I also want a variable for sounds. Now this is client side, right? Sounds script. And then we put them on the script. So I'm going to say wait for child just in case it's a little slow loading sounds. I'm not going to do the get children for this one though. I'm going to access it a little different. Then I'm going to get a variable called bound. Right, so when we find the region, we're going to set that variable to true. I'm going to get a player, and we could do game, get service, players service, dot local player. We'll get the char from the player, the character from the player, right? Player dot character or player dot character added weight. So just wait for the character to load right there. All right. Oh, we need our label too. LBL. That's going to be script. What do we call that? Uh, parent. Then region label. Yes. Let's go down two lines. And we're going to start our while loop. So while wait one second do. We're going to do a for loop to go through our regions. For I and let's call it region. In pairs sound zones have our region areas do all right so we're gonna go through each region we're gonna get whoops local uh, in the documentation this is box position but we really mean the C frame so we're gonna say region C frame and then we need the size of the box these are the region boxes right so we'll say region dot size and this is where we're going to get our collection of parts that are inside our region. This used to be the region three, but now let's get a variable variable for parts. We're going to do workspace colon get part bounds box. That's going to return everything in the box. We're going to do this box position. That's the C frame of our region. We're going to do a box size. And then you have this thing called overlap parameters. That's supposed to limit your um, your set coming back, but it's not really working that good, and it doesn't give you any um, benefit of optimization. So I'm going to put nil in there, get everything back, and do my own parsing. So I'll do another for loop once I get my parts. For let's do the underscore here because we're not going to use the loop counter part in pairs whoops extra parentheses parts do so each part we're going to loop through and it's of this parts collection that we got back from our get part bounds in box let's check to see if the part ooh if the parts parent so if it's a hand a foot a head the parent will be the character We'll get the name of the character and then character names match player names, right? So if I have 
my player is Simtech Gamer 7, the character name is going to be the same. So we save a little bit of code doing that. We'll just make that comparison to see if we have a player in there. And then if we do, we're going to say found equals true. Then we're going to break from this loop. If we don't find that part as being the player, we're going to say else found will remain false and we'll continue looping through the parts. Then let's go down to, we're still going to be in our region for loop. We're going to get out of our parts. We'll come down here. We went through all of the parts in the bounding box. We're going to check to see if we had a successful find. If found, then let's get a variable for our sound. Oh man, there we go. SND, that's going to be my sound variable. Sounds, we'll do find first child, have the same name as the region, remember? So I made it a region sound, region.name. Let's take a look. So here's our regions. We have the club, industrial, and nature. And I'm relying on the fact that the sounds have the same names matching to the region. It's going to save me a lot of code. But it only works for one sound per region in this particular way of doing things. I'm going to check to see if the sound exists. So we found the sound and the sound is playing equals false. So otherwise it's not playing, then let's turn it on. Let's go ahead and do sound play. Right, so we found a part in the region. The sound's not playing for the client that's in that region. Let's turn it on. Let's also get our label, change the text to the zone we're in. Zone, let's do a colon, dot, dot for string concatenator, region dot name. So we're gonna put the region name in there. And what else do I need? That's good, all right, so if we, if the sound is false, we have a sound, but it's it's not playing, if not playing. Let's go to here, right? So if it was not found, so there's no parts of my body in this particular region that we're going through, then let's go ahead and get our sound again. I don't need to, yeah, I do need to redeclare it because it was local to that if statement. So we'll put the local and everything. All right, and then I'm going to check if sound and sound is playing is true. So you could just do is playing. Then we can need to turn it off because they're not in there. So we'll do SND stop. Cool. And let's change our label, right? This thing right here. So we're going to change the label to like zoneless. Yeah, we'll do zone less. And it's okay if they just went to another zone. This is going to fire right away. It's going to give you the new zone. Nice. I think we're good. Let's try it out. Let's go hit the play. Let's hit our view to make sure we don't have any errors in the output window. Here's our zones. Oh yeah, there we go. We're in the club. Now we're in nature. Now we're in industrial. That's pretty cool.